Adding content like maps, audio, and video to your site is an excellent way to create an interactive experience for your visitors. In addition, it's a helpful way to give users the information that they need. In this video, I will show you the quick and easy way to embed Google Maps in WordPress landing pages. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing that you wanna do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to be installing Seedprod. For this video, I'm going to be using the pro version. So if you head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description, then go ahead and click on the orange button here to grab your copy. After you have a license, we're gonna go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, you can enter your email address and the password you created for your account. Next, let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab. And then next, let's click on the orange button to download the latest copy of Seedprod. We'll also need the license key that's on the bottom left hand side here. And you can just click this little icon here to copy that. We can close this window for now. And next, let's come over to plugins and add new. Up here, you can click on upload plugin. And we can actually just drag and drop this zip file right here. Or you can click choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive. Go ahead and click on install now and activate plugin. Next, let's paste the license key that we copied from earlier right in here, and we're going to click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. If you're using the same browser as I am or something similar, you can close this tab at the bottom. Next, let's go over to pages under the seed prod tab, and you'll see different modes here, such as coming soon, maintenance mode, login pages, and 404 pages. So seed prod lets you modify all of these different landing pages, or you can create custom ones down here. So let's go ahead and create a new landing page. And we have well over 100 professionally designed templates that you can import into your website quickly and easily, and they're all mobile friendly as well. We also have these filters here, and I'm going to be clicking on sales. And then you can go through and just look for one of these landing pages, whatever works for you. You don't have to pick the one under sales. I'm going to import this one right here, and we can just give it a name. I'm just going to call this one maps, but call it whatever would make sense for you. And then I'm going to click on save and start editing the page. On the right side, we have the Seedprod page builder, and you'll see all of these lines when you hover over the different sections. So these are all your sections and your rows and your columns. So this is the layout of your page. The orange ones are your blocks. So if I click on this one, for example, this is an image block and this is a header and this is a button. And you may have noticed that the sidebar here is changing every time I click on a different block. And this will just bring up the options for that specific block. So you have full control over what the image is, what the image size, the alignment, the colors of the text, what the text says. Many, many, many different options here. To get back to your main blocks, you can click this little icon. And you'll see these blocks on the left-hand side, the standard ones, the advanced ones, and then there's WooCommerce. WooCommerce for us right now is grayed out because we do not have WooCommerce installed. So it's super simple to add a block into your page. You can just drag and drop one in here. Now you'll see that I have a video here. And if I click the cog wheel here for the block settings, you can see I have options here to change that. So for type, we have YouTube and custom. So you could just paste the URL to your YouTube video right here. You have width and alignment and then some advanced options here. But today we're looking at the Google Maps block. So let's go ahead and we can just hit the trash can here to delete this block. Let's scroll down the page here. And it's pretty customary to add some type of map to your page if you have a location a physical location let's go ahead and we can search for maps up here under the block this will be under the advanced here or if you don't want to you can just scroll down here and we'll find maps so right here is google maps and we can just drag this into our page so there we go we instantly have google maps into our page so say we want a headline for this we could just duplicate this headline right here and drag it down we can click on the settings and say something like our location. Now the actual block itself for Google Maps, if we click the settings, we have some options here for the location. So you could change this to whatever you want. So maybe something very specific. And you can see that this will update to whatever location you put in there. You can put addresses, cities, towns, whatever you wish. We also have a zoom level. So the further we zoom out, so lower numbers will be further out and higher numbers will be zoomed very far in. So if I put this to 20, you can see we're right on that Statue of Liberty Island. So I'm just gonna bring this back out to 10. And we also have the width here. So right now it's 100%, so if I come to 50, it's half the width of the cell that it's inside right now. For example, if I align left, you can see that it's perfectly 50% of this side. I'm going to go ahead and center that again and go full width. Under Advanced tab, you have a shadow here. 
So if I go a large shadow, you can see that it added a little shadow at the bottom and the right side here a little bit. We also have spacing. So if you wanted some top margin, you can just add a little bit there. Or if you wanted to add some padding, you can do that here as well. So let's say 50. Now this is linked right here. So this added 50 on the top, right, bottom, and left side. If we want to, we can put this back to zero and then unlink it. And then you can just manually put in each side yourself instead of all of them at once. And there we go. We added our Google Maps into our landing page. Next, we could check the mobile preview. This is built into SeedProd. And then we can come down and make sure that our page looks good on mobile devices. And we can see our map there as well. And we can easily switch back to desktop preview. SeedProd also has some global settings here. So maybe you want to change your page with the fonts, colors, background, or add some of your own custom CSS. You can do that here. So for the fonts, I could just select a different one. And you can see all of that will be updated onto the page for our headers. All of our headers have been instantly updated. And then down below, we have our body text. So I could just pick a random one here. You can see that that's updated all of the body text. If you need help picking themes, we have the font themes that you can go and pick one of the pre-made matches here. So this one looks pretty nice. And you can see that that looks nice and clean on the page. Same thing for colors. We have headers, text, buttons, links, and backgrounds. So you can change each one. So here's my headers. You can see how that's a different blue now. You can come under color palettes if you need help picking colors and you can find one here that you want to select. Let me go with this one. You can see that all of those colors have instantly updated and it actually looks quite nice. And then you could fine tune some of these such as the menu items you could click on and change the color of those so that they're not so dark on the page. Very simple to use. Next, let's say you want to collect some emails. You can just go ahead and add an opt-in form. And we can click the block settings here and maybe we want to hide the name and they just have to enter their email address. Let's go ahead and get rid of this button. And there we have a submit button and we could change the text on there. So now that you have an opt-in form, we have a tab up here. We've been under the design tab the whole time. We can go ahead and click on connect and this will connect your opt-in form to a third party mailing service. So if you want to connect to example, MailerLite, we can go ahead and click connect and you can connect a new account and you will need an account with MailerLite or any of these services. So you have to head to their website to do that. And they will provide you with something called an API key. And this is very easy to get. You can check out their documentation if you need help getting that or contact their support. And you're just going to paste this key right in here. You can give an optional connection name and click connect. And now MailerLite or any of these other services will be handling all of your email lists when people sign up through your landing page. And then lastly, we have page settings. And on the left-hand side, we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. So under general, we have the page title. We called this maps when I first started. We have the page URL, the page status. If you want to draft or publish it, you can also publish from up here if you wish. You can show a powered by SeedProd link, and this will be a little button style down in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program and get a 20% commission on all sales. And you can just paste your link in here. If you think there may be any issues or you're having any conflicts, you can go ahead and put your landing page into isolation mode to help prevent conflicts. And we also have a spot here to add the Facebook app ID if you need that. Under SEO, we highly recommend that you install all-in-one SEO for all of your search engine needs. And the same thing for analytics, we highly recommend Monster Insights, which is an amazing analytics plugin for WordPress. Under the scripts tab, if you need to put any scripts in your header, body, or footer, you can do so here. And if you want to hook up a custom domain, so instead of having a long URL, you can create a domain and have it linked to towards your landing page. If you want to learn more about that, we have some documentation here on the website to find out about that. When you're all set, let's go ahead and save the page and we can publish it or you could preview it first if you like. I'm going to go ahead and publish this and then we can see the live page. And there we go. We have our finished landing page that we can see. We added an opt-in form. Of course, the focus of this video was meant to be on the Google Maps that you can easily import into your landing page using the blocks in SeedProd. Now that you know how to embed Google Maps in WordPress landing pages, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a WordPress image carousel for landing pages. This video will walk you through how to use the image carousel block for SeedProd. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.